shadow of Fu Manchu. Based on the stories by Sax Roma. Venice police failed to locate the missing Nayland Smith and Dr. Petrie, Kerrigan decided to continue the search alone. As he contemplates a more thorough search of the Palazzo Mori, Fadia the gondolier returns, and Kerrigan is amazed when Fadia claims that he knows the secret passages of the Palazzo. Easily persuaded, Kerrigan returns, and together with Fadia, he explores the subterranean passages. During this search, Fadia disappears mysteriously and Kerrigan stumbles into a room which seems heavily scented with the odor of hawthorn blossoms. Here, Kerrigan comes face to face with the strange woman who played so vital a part in the murder of General Quinto. Trying to apprehend her, he falls into a trap ingeniously concealed in the floor. When he regains consciousness, he finds himself chained in a dungeon together with Smith and Petrie. As they discuss ways of escape, the door opens and... Oh, greetings, Dr. Fu Manchu. Oh. You have decided to join me, Mr. Smith. At last, the free fun is to enjoy the benefit of your great ability. I am indeed fortunate to be able to secure such outstanding talents as yours and those of Dr. Petrie. And again, we have Mr. Kerrigan. I suppose you'll experiment with some new poison on me. Ah, but no, to the contrary. I have reconsidered your case. Apparently, you enjoy the reputation of a great newspaper man, Mr. Kerrigan. I shall put that reputation to excellent use. Is it necessary to keep us shackled, Doctor? I am afraid so. If you will be indulgent with these arrangements a little longer, I shall transport you to my uh, temporary headquarters. Yes, gentlemen, I shall employ you to save civilization from the madman who seeks to destroy it. Tonight... A man who threatens the peace of the world will make a far-reaching decision. The belief of you Western people that we of the East may benefit by your ridiculous culture must be corrected. I wouldn't underestimate that culture if I were you, Doctor. <laughs> your culture. What has it done? What have your modern machines, those toys of a childish people, accomplished? Poor infants who transfer your prayers from angels to airplanes. I see you still have that horrible monkey. Oh, you have met Peiko, my little mama said before. And I think I have mentioned that he is of great age. You have genius, Mr. Smith, but it is working in the wrong channel. However, I shall correct that. Needless to say, I shall resist. I uh, fear that resistance will be of no avail. You have observed that my daughter again is acting in my interest. She knows nothing about her former identity. She too resisted... But as follows, Swee, she is dead. I have reincarnated her as Koriani, and she is very useful. 
You two gentlemen will experience this form of reincarnation. I have designed it as a gateway to your new lives in my country. Look about you. This is a medieval torture chamber. Here, these tongs were used to tear muscles and flesh. <laughs> Primitive and clumsy. My country has done better. I can learn all I wish by controlling the human will. I recently discovered in this way that Atata, hitherto a good ally, is not to be trusted where Mr. Kerrigan is concerned. I have taken steps to ensure her non-interference. You are silent, Mr. Smith. Why should I speak? I allowed myself to fall into a trap that a schoolboy would have avoided. I have nothing to say. I look forward to further conversation, gentlemen. But now I must leave you. A matter of the utmost urgency demands my attention. Good night, Mr. Smith. Gentlemen. Smith, do you think you'll harm our daughter? No, Kerrigan. She's alive, but we can't count on her. What is that ghastly sound, Nayland? Listen, Petrie. Fu Manchu left the keys in the lock, and the force of the wind is swinging them against the metal door. Why? Could it be possible that the key to our chains is among them? More than likely, Kerrigan. But he, Nayland, he was never careless. Why should he have left the keys? That brute who feeds us is due in about five minutes. No doubt the keys were left for his convenience. Oh, for the brains of a Houdini. You see, Petrie, the keys are hanging less than a foot below this grating behind me. By no possible contortion could I get within a foot of the keyhole. Yes? Oh, we need an idea, and we need it in a hurry. Our jailer will be here shortly. There must be a way to reach those keys. Damon, those tongues Fu Manchu dropped on the floor, can you reach them? You're closer than either of us. I'll try. No, I can't. Smith, Smith, I found a piece of string in my pocket. Oh, what good is that? You can tie it on the handle of this tin cup, then crawl forward again and toss the cup into the open claws of the tongs. Hmm. Then maybe you can drag them across the floor. Good, Kerrigan. Toss the string over to me. Here you are. Ah, just a second. There. Oh, no, he can't do it, Kerrigan. Try again, Smith. Mm. He's got it. Careful, Smith. Draw it towards you. Slowly. Oh, oh confound it. it isn't going to work. Here comes the jailer. Coriani. Oh, you are going to join us, Mr. Smith. <laughs> I am very glad. But please tell me something. What do you want me to tell you? Of what interest can my life or death be to you? There is something I must know. Oh, yes? Do you remember me? Perfectly. Where did we meet? It was a long time ago. But how could it be so long ago? If I remember you, how could I have forgotten our meeting? Perhaps you've forgotten your name. But that is stupid. My name is Coriani. No, no. I never knew your real name, but the one given to you in childhood, the name by which I did know you, was Farlo Sui. Farlo Sui. That is a silly name. It, it means perfume, a sweet scent. Ah, it is childish. But you were a child when it was given to you. It seems that you too had another name, Mr. Smith. No, my name has always been Nayland Smith. How long it will remain so, I don't know. What does a name matter when one belongs to the sea fan? Look... I don't want to forget, as you've forgotten, Coriani. Please come closer. Yes. That necklace you're wearing, it's rather odd. It is the takbir, the Muslim prayer. May I see it? Here. You may keep it. Do you think it will help you to remember? Perhaps. I must go now. We shall meet again soon. Nayland, what's come over you? Don't you see, Petrie, the necklace has a ring in it. It'll be easy to hook the tongs with it. By Jove, you're right. Try it. <clears throat> there, there he's got it. I knew he'd do it. Oh, Petrie, if I never work fast in my life, I must work fast now. Can you, can you reach through the bars, Nayland? Yes, I can just touch the key ring. There, that's got it. Ah. Now to find the right key. Ah, here it is. Right. Here, Kerrigan. Unlock yourself and then give the keys to Petrie. Hurry, yes. There. Now what, Smith? The keys. Give them to me. 
Hey, Lund, are you mad? Why did you throw the keys through the grating? There's no keyhole on this side of the door. We must wait. Now listen, you two. Hide your chains well under your chairs, and when our jailer comes, he'll place the tray there by the door. He'll have his back to you, Kerrigan, and when he does, you jump. Right, your Smith. I keep the tongs in case you miss. Steady now, Kerrigan. Here he comes. You stand by, Petrie. We might need your help. These brutes are as slippery as eels. Right on. I can't. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Smith. Forget it. Come on, Petrie. We must get out of here before this devil's missed. Let's try this passage. Fu Manchu is here somewhere, and by this time, I have he won't escape. There, there are lights, man. Stop. Careful now. Do you have the tongs, Kerrigan? Yes, Smith. Good. Be ready to use them. Come on. Smith, that odor. Yes, I know. Hawthorne blossoms. This is the room where I met Coriani. For heaven's sake, be careful, Nayland. Remember the trap door. I'm not likely to forget it. Stay on this black border. You see, the center of the floor is in the shape of a lotus flower. That's the trap. There are two doors on the other side of the room, Smith. Which one do we take? We'll try the left one. Whatever you do, Petrie, don't leave that black border. I wonder what happened to Fadia. Fadia? Yes, the, the gondolier. I lost him in these passages when I came in. Oh, don't be simple, man. Of course, the fellow was an agent of the Seafan. Huh? This door's locked, Nayland. Try the other one. This one's locked, too. Oh, we must go back, then. I won't rest until I find him. Smith! There, look! The door! It's closing. Ah, uh, trapped. Perhaps the wind did it, Nayland. Oh, what difference does that make? There's no keyhole. Let's try the walls for secret doors. It's our only chance. I wonder if our jailer has been found. Oh, most likely. I don't think there's anything accidental about that closing of the door. What's that, Nayland? Gas. The smell of Hawthorne, Smith. I don't know how quickly that gas takes effect, but we've got to get out of this room. Listen. Yes, Petrie, I hear. Remember, he said the drums would beat again. Shadow of Fu Manchu.